I live my life a quarter mile at a time. And for that minute and a half, at least I'm free. The year is 1908 and Henry Ford is about to revolutionize the automobile industry with this? Yes, this, the Model T. Was it the first automobile? Nope, and not by a long shot. People, and more accurately, Europeans like Nicholas Otto, Rudolf Diesel, Carl Benz, and Gottlieb Daimler had been designing and innovating automobiles for over a century. Was it the fastest? This jalopy? It could top out at maybe 45 miles per hour, and then you would feel like you were riding a Bronco. No, not a Ford Bronco. That Bronco. Yes, there you go. So, no, it was not the fastest, actually. By comparison, in that year's French Grand Prix, the average speed was about 70 miles per hour. So was it the best looking? Oh yeah, that must be it. Just look at that high chassis. Any higher and it would be indecent. Ooh, and that hand crank, that really starts me up. The color options? Mmm, yeah, if you like black, black, or black. Ooh, and the different body styles, with my personal favorite being the Depot Hack, the ugliest thing on wheels until the Nissan Cube in golden ginger pearl metallic. Yeah, that is one ugly car. Maybe it's important because of its performance. Yeah, that must be it. With its gas tank, which fed into the engine using gravity and was located under the front seat, which meant that if you were going up a steep hill, you had to do it backwards. Okay, so I give up. Why does the Model T matter? Well, it's kind of like the old joke, why is a Model T like a bathtub? Well, you know, you need one, but you don't really want anyone to see you in it. The Model T was the first American car for the average consumer. Sure, its initial sticker price of $825 wasn't exactly a bargain considering the average worker made half of that per year. But by Ford producing just one model and utilizing the moving assembly line, they were able to slash that price down to $300 in 1925. Over the course of its production, more than 15 million of these ugly, steampunk, Amish carriage looking cars were sold. At times, the Model T comprised more than 40% of the auto sales market. And Ford's use of interchangeable parts brought down the price and complexity of maintenance. Its relative simplicity allowed you to easily customize it. All those fast and furious custom jobs, well, this is their great great grandfather. And this was a big deal for America because in case you haven't noticed, we are a car culture. We're 3,000 miles from coast to coast begging for open roads and a car that will let us cheaply explore them. So Ford's Model T produced from 1908 to 1927 became the best selling car ever until it was finally surpassed by the VW Bug in 1972. Factor in other innovations such as Ford's establishment of the minimum wage, the moving assembly line in other industries, and the fact that it is a quintessential part of Americana, and it is clear to see that the Model T is the most important car ever made. And that is why the Model T matters. Let me know in the comments which modern invention you think will change the world to the degree that the Model T did. If you like my t-shirt, you can get one of your own, link down in the description. Make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe, be safe, and I'll see you next time.